Hello. Who's this crazy man? <laughs> So I've been here for maybe a week and a half, and I, uh, I haven't experienced so much calmness in a long time. You know, this 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 week and a half, two weeks have been very very reflective, and it seems that a lot of things that once. I felt so much and was so passionate about this kind of come back. You know, I, I feel like, not that I feel, but I know that I forgot a lot about certain things. A lot of things that I've learned. But I guess clearly I didn't learn enough, you know. A lot of things that I let go of practicing a lot of self-values, and so on. I'm, I'm grateful for it. Things seem to be so much clearer than they were, and it, it, <laughs> I, I did have a trip here quite recently, but it's not, it doesn't stem from that, which, you know, I can now say that I, I, I have done DMT, <laughs> but no, it, it doesn't, it doesn't come from that. Just such a moment of clarity hit me when arriving here, and it stuck with me, and it still has stuck with me. I, I, I used to, there, there were a lot of things that would bother me. Three simple things. One, I used to get so worked up and overwhelmed in my head. Whenever I'd be talking to a camera, for example, or to just anybody, you know, me saying me and I and this and that and me and whatever, Austin and his ego, it used to really overwhelm me. Because I know that I am everything and I feel that I'm everything, which that is too. I, 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 I lost the feeling. I was aware, but I really did lose the feeling. It doesn't bother me and not looking back in stigma. I, I, I feel like I'm more looking back and understanding. There there was a while where I forgot who and what I was. And when it comes to a more individual level, you know, I, I, I forgot a lot of goals and passions that Austin had. And for example, you know, when, when, when I would, let's just say that this was a few months ago, I wouldn't want to say that. I was in denial and I knew I forgot something. I knew I forgot many things, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And I know that sounds very, very wild. Like it, it, it's, it, it does sound very different, but I'm being honest, I, I forgot a lot of things that were just so key into who I was as a person that it really bothered me but I didn't know what I forgot if that makes sense and when I would be and, and I was too stubborn to be open about it and I and too confused to be open about it <laughs> but yeah a lot of that has that has hit me and uh, I don't know. It, it's been very different. It's been very reflective, but I'm not going to sit here or stand here and say that, you know, I, I, I don't like this. No, I like this a lot as in the clarity and the calmness, being able to put my mind towards my own, if that makes sense. It also growing and expanding. I know that I am one with you and I know that I am one with everything and I know that we are all one. That is so beautiful.
But I think the biggest thing when it comes to rem remembrance is love. An unconditional love. Certain experiences that I had, certain people, individuals that I have watched, another individual put this individual in a situation and twirl them in, in circles pretty much, you know. It really hurt. It really bothered me. And in that moment, you know, that's that's when I felt like deciding that maybe unconditional love shouldn't be. And it's very shameful saying that, but I'm being honest. I do believe in unconditional love, and I do believe in love. And I do believe in understanding of those who are ignorant. Including myself. You know, I could... I could be very ignorant. And I, and I was being very ignorant, extremely ignorant, if that makes sense. Hello. I, I just want to say how beautiful it is to be human and be alive and be experiencing all of this in our own unique and beautiful experience, in our own unique and beautiful environment. Whether beautiful or not, you know, I, I guess that's up to the beholder. But I, I, I'm, I, I just want to say that I think it's important to celebrate and not take for granted the human condition, not take for granted the people in your life and life in general. You know, being able to experience the human condition, a wide variety of emotions, it's beautiful. Uh, I have a friend. You know, being able to stand here right now and make this video, I appreciate, even though I may be getting attacked by mosquitoes, and my hair is all fucked up, and I've been outside all day and I'm kind of greasy, I still appreciate being able to be greasy, being able to get bitten up by mosquitoes, being able to make this video. Uh, just how calm everything is right now. All I hear are leaves and birds and myself. Like, I don't even want to talk, I just want to breathe. I, I just want to be here now, you know? I hope you get that reference. It's a Ram Dass reference, but... Being human is very beautiful, and I'm very grateful for that. And I, I think that's another thing that I really forgot was just how be how beautiful it is to be a human being, how powerful it is to be a human being. I forgot my passion for being a human being. And th and again, that 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 does sound that is. I'm not ashamed of saying that at all because it's something that it's definitely come back to me. If I was ashamed I wouldn't I wouldn't be making this video now, I could say that. But yeah.